Hi guys, it's Jax Girl. I'm making you a video. I have three cross stitch magazines to go through. So I'm gonna go through them. Um, you may see bits and parts of pattern, like the pattern. You're not gonna take it from here because you're good, kindly people. And always, we're always trying to do our best, right? So we're not trying to even get even a little bit of it. But if I accidentally show one, it's not because I'm showing it because I want to share it. I am just strictly here to share these magazines. So in case you're looking for something in them, or if you're like me and you like to go on to different websites to pick up some online and you haven't been able to see a flip through. This way you can see a flip through. Um, I'll probably do them each individual so that way I can, t I'll title it. And then if it's something that you're looking for and then you want to go and look for it, maybe it's made it easier. I don't know, these bears look similar, don't they? But they, I don't know if they are. They could be, maybe not. Anyway. So the first one we're gonna flip through is For the Love of Cross Stitch. And this one is from March, 1995. It's from Leisure Arts. There's 20 projects in here. This is one of them. So let's go on here. Hold on one second. I am doing something else <laughs> as well. Okay, so let's flip through this one. I'm not going to go over every single thing in here. Um, I'm just going to basically show you the patterns. So that way, or like the, the project, so you know what you're looking for. So let's do lunch. Cute little cat couple. Guardian angel. Hello. So sweet. Water baby's birth record. Oh my goodness. Look at all the different ideas here. And they don't just have to be used for a baby. But here you can see they used it for a boy, Nathan, and here for a girl. But Honestly, if you like those designs for anything else, you could use them. It's just bubbles in the water. The starfish with the swim ring, the fish, and a duck. Cute. I bet you guys can come up with some sweet designs for that. Flower pot favorites. So in this one, they this is there's a pattern here for this project. But there's three projects in the series. So in this issue, they have the blue bonnets, the Texas flower, right? There's begonias in May. And in July, they show you how to do the zinnias. So if you wanted to do any of those ones, that this magazine is, again, from March 1995. So you'll want to look for 1995 to get those ones. And here's Pat Olson. And she created official mall mall walker. Adorable. And charming socks. That'd be pretty quick. Nice little that would make a nice Valentine gift. If you're running out of ideas of things to give to somebody, nice and sweet or for yourself. Some lucky shamrocks. Could be your lucky socks. I noticed um, the designer. She has been in quite a few of these magazines. And her name is Jane Chandler. And how I'm starting to recognize her work is she uses a lot of the stripes, or at least she did back then. Very classy, cute. So fingertips, 
You could just use just one if you wanted to. Make nice Christmas ornaments or cake fans. This is really cute. And this was, I guess, using all the new DMC colors back in 1997. But look at how lovely all those colors work together. What a nice spring piece that can make. Nice little sampler. Quick, easy use for Easter, spring. Started out on Valentine's Day, maybe, with the hearts. Of course, love and bunnies and birds are any time of the year, right? Those colors just are charming together. And they had a design contest. Oh, those bears, how cute are they? Yo, dude. <laughs> and I think that is it. They had the pattern on behind that one. And so that is it for this one. If you guys like that magazine, if there's anything in there that you thought you would stitch, let me know what you would stitch. I think my favorite was besides those bears. Um, I thought these were cute and fast. And I think it was the, this one. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I think that one was my favorite. All right, let me know which one is your favorite.